on a factory boost application, you really don't need a big blow off valve. All right. Because you're, you're really not producing enough boost to hurt the engine. All right. Because ultimately what is, what's, what's a blow off valve do? Blow off valve is, is scrubbing excess boost. So it's not impacting you know, the throttle body, the valves, it's not putting undue pressure. Um, sometimes that that excess pressure can cause detonation, can throw off your timing in really rare instances. And that's like if you've got a lot of carbon built up or unspent gas in the combustion chamber and blah, 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 blah. Okay. If you are going to a high boost application, you're going, you're revving over 8,000 RPM, you know, you got... You know, Riva Tune, or you're going to JP, you're going to Ruthless, you're going to Dean's team, blah, 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 and you're you're going to want to blow off valve, all right? Yeah, if you're spinning freaking 8,400, 8,600, okay, um, you're generating a lot of boost through the, through the power curve. And if you chop the throttle, that boost has to go somewhere. And uh, the, those... Yeah, in that application, you're definitely going to want that. You're going to want that blow-off valve. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.